The National Library of Scotland holds a vast archive of treasured texts, many of which are harnessed for its regularly evolving exhibitions. But what of those that remain largely boxed up? Staff at Special Collections today took a session on how the public can access the archives, as long as due care is taken. I can't, I can't think of anything where anyone's like ripped a page or something like that. Um, but you do spot things across the room, working in the Special Collections reading room, where you go, oh, I need you to stop doing what you're doing immediately and perhaps just take a step back from that book and uh, put it on a book rest and treat it nicely. Um, I think the number one book crime that we see attempted in the Special Collections reading room is the use of white gloves on regular material. Um, so with photographs and things like that, yes, we would insist that people wear white gloves and we, we would give them out. But sometimes people bring their own white gloves in and attempt to turn the pages of perhaps very thin manuscripts, thin rare books, um, and that's because you lose the feeling in your fingers. That's a surefire way to rip a page. So uh, yeah, the white gloves crimes are the greatest crimes in our reading room. But for those keen to avoid such offences, the key of today's session was raising awareness that they are available in the first place. I think that with special collections and archival collections in particular, um, they're quite difficult to access compared to printed material that's on the main online catalogue. Um, so archives are arranged in a completely different way from printed material and because it's unpublished, um, because it's unique stuff, um, we felt like it was something that the public should really be more aware of within our collections but these sessions are more about how to actually access and get into the archives which is the most difficult part of any research. I think the thing that's interesting about the National Library's collections is depending on what you're interested in, the highlights can be entirely different and it, there's always a possibility of something exciting within the collections. So we have the huge ticket items, you know, the letter from last letter Mary Queen of Scots, and Gutenberg Bible, these are the big uh, items that sort of people know that we have. However, for a researcher, it could be something as simple as the only pamphlet of whatever topic it is they're researching that exists in the world. To them, that's priceless. That's the huge draw to come to the library and research. You know, it's things that we have that nowhere else, no other institution in the world has. And I do think that there is something for everybody in terms of what is a highlight. You know, even our personal highlights of the collections are entirely different. I'm currently doing a PhD part-time, which the library is sponsoring, and the reason I'm doing it is because all of the collections I need to see are essentially in this building. You know, we have all of the political party collections that I need to see, therefore for me that's one of the highlights of the collections, is all of the things related to Scottish politics in the main are here in one place where you can just come and access them quite easily and, and without much difficulty. And I think it's the same for quite a few of our researchers who, who are specialising in Scottish history. All of the things they need to see are in this building. They can switch between reading rooms, they can stay in the reading room all day and see exactly what they need to see. And I think that's one thing that we enjoy seeing people mm -hmm. come in for you know six months to do a huge research project and we get to know them, we get to talk to them and we find out a little bit about what they're doing as well, which is a great, always a great highlight. Mm -hmm. So for those looking to embark upon their own research project or simply delve into the archives of history, head to your National Library. Ian McNally, That's TV.